Okay, Assalamu alaikum. I am Asad Yusuf, Senior Medical Physicist in Khan University Hospital. Welcome to our MPT webinar. Today, the topic is turning good idea into study, the concept outline. So what will we be talking about? Why we need to do study? How we can conduct study? Concept outline? What's the barriers? Some proposals. So why we need to do study? It's a prerequisite of your job. It impresses the senior as a potential researcher or maybe your personal interest. So how to initiate the study? Research, start asking and making questions. Enhance your knowledge. Make a habit of reading. Review journals. Determine your area of interest. Think of all you like to know about causes, mechanism, management, quality, cost effectiveness, outcome, service delivery, prevention. And also think during the rains or traveling or jogging. So clinical trial, a prospective study in a human to determine the effect of an intervention, intend to improve health. Intervention would be devices, diet, exercise, tests, techniques, immobilizations. Effects would be safety, activity, effectiveness, cost effectiveness, etc. So answer the specific question, minimize the risk and maximize the return. Phases would be the feasibility, phase two, can research be proceed? Phase two is activity, should research proceed? Phase three is effectiveness. So before I start writing, do I have the clear research question? Have I read broadly and deeply in that area? Have I discussed the topic with the peers? Have I enough time and fun to start? Do I feel support from faculty and colleagues? So what to do with an idea writing down? Then discover what is already known. What exactly have other done? What exactly they define? What hasn't been done? Who can help? What are your strength expertise? What who else could help you? Find the mentor and collaborators. How to improve your idea? Rewrite, discuss, resent, refine. Criteria of choosing include your goals, the idea. So access of information, access to resources, external requirements, overall probability of successful completion. Theoretical background is very important. Value of research. This question is big or small. And of course, the personal interests play a vital role in uh, completion of the study. So focus on the question, not on a method. The question should determine the method. Your objective of today, draft the concept outline for your study. Think more about what you want to do. Why do you want to do it? Why is it important? Who has done similar work? How are you going to do it? How long will it take? The timeline is very important. So writing concept outline. The brief, clear presentation of the fundamental element that specifies the study. Help reader understand, discuss, refine, and support your idea. Write only what the reader needs, not what you feel like saying. Self-contained, written in accessible language. The to-do list, the title, why, reveal, and exactly what is about. So to do this include the title, abbreviation, concept outline, abstract, study, and presentation and paper. So, and the question is why? So reveal, remind, pursue, instruct, summaries, reveal. Exactly what it's about, what it's about, support it, how to do it, results. Turning good idea into successful study. Main heading of the concept outline, the background, rational, objectives, method, result, conclusion, or um, more explanation. So the background rational objective hypothesis, a method include the population and setting intervention, study design, study procedure. Results include outcome and measure, statistical consideration. Conclusion, feasibility. So background rational. What is already known about the problem? Existing practices, proposed practices. So rational, the reason for going ahead. 
with the treatment and practice. The problem could include cause, effects, etc. And existing practices include mechanism, benefits, or harm. And proposed practices, again, me mechanism, benefits, or harm. So we're going to take the example of craniospinal radiation in supine position. So background, what is already known about the problem? Problem is anesthesia and patient comfort on a prone position. Existing practice, most of the centers is prone position. And proposed practices is supine position. So rational, the reason for going ahead with the treatment and practices. So our aim to determine general. So we are going to start with general and move toward the specific. The objective, trying to determine in specifically and hypothesis expecting to find. So these are the things which you're going to talk about. So try, trying to determine general to minimize the anesthesia. Determines the anesthesia related risk during the CSI for children. An objective trying to determine specifically to treat the patient in supine position, verification of three junctions. And that's the problem, of course, when you're treating with supine position. So hypothesis expecting to find reproducible and comfort setup, new methodology allow verification of junction. So material method include the population settings, target inclusion and exclusion. So our population will, of course, the pediatric patient because they usually got the anesthesia. Intervention, experimental, control, study design, study procedure. So show the reader how it's being set for looking an answer to the research question. It should reflect the capacity, capability of research worker to complete the research work. The proposed method must be appropriate for the type of research work. So material and method. Population, who are trying to help? Pediatric patient? Intervention, what it is? Supine position. How is it set? Any mobilization, plan, junction, and verification with EBT three plans. Study design, phase three study randomized trial. A study procedure, explain the planning and verification method. So outcome, consequences of interest, measure how it is measured, endpoint is observation, measure effect, way of summarizing and comparing. So statistical results, sample size, practical consideration of your study or question. The main heading usually are these, and or you can write an abstract. So abstract would be to minimize the anesthesia related risk during the CSI in children. Treatment in supine position would be preferable. Verification especially of the cervical, cervical three field junction cause problem because direct visual control is not possible. So we present a new methodology of verification technique with ABT3 flim. So come to the last point, barriers, lack of guidance, not interested, complaining about the schedules, reward, not defined, hesitation in pursuing small projects, resources, limitation, all right around the, under the block, of course, day job sleeping, whatever. So we need some kind of push, uh, the friends would be the best option. So start small, but make a start to go big, I'm not telling you it is going to be easy. I'm telling you it's going to be worth it. The proposal. Uh, these are some proposals which you could uh, go through. You guys can go through on that. The concept outline, outline is a first step toward turning good idea into successful project. There is so much to do. It's just a matter of understanding and critical thinking. No great thing is created suddenly. So thank you very much. Uh, you can write your queries under the comments and I'll answer later. Thank you very much uh, for your time and keep watching MPT Foundation channel.